A lot of people have been asking about, am I ever gonna get a locking mechanism on my sliding mirror wall safe? Let me show you what I got so far. So this is just halfway there, but I just wanna show you what I got. I'll hide uh, these wires later, but I have a simple little push button right here. And as you can see right now, it is locked. I am tugging on it, I'm pushing, but it is certainly locked. Push this push button and it unlocks. Well, right here on this drawer slider, I drilled a hole right there that lines up with this second piece right there. And watch what happens when I push the button. That little rod comes out and locks the drawer slider pieces together. Let me show you from the top view. Push the button, that comes out. Push it, goes back in. Now, in the future, I'll uh, find a better place to put this button. I may not even control it with the button. The goal is to get it to work with a fingerprint sensor that I will embed inside of here, but I don't have that done yet. So in the meantime, I have the simple node MCU board, which is just a cheap couple dollar board. But then I have a servo right there and that blue piece of plastic was 3d printed from some plans i found online and that turns that servo rotation into this linear motion of that rod i have right there so pretty simple but effective solution and i'll be sure to post back after i get this finalized here's a little more info on some of the items i used first i used this small servo it's the FS90MR. That's only 14 bucks on Amazon. Uh, next, here's the 3D plans I found on Thingiverse on how to print this, uh, the files to print uh, the pinion gear, the bracket, and this little pusher rod. Here's a quick view of how it goes in and out. And then here's, uh, I did the smaller version. So down in the files, when you download these STLs, um, it's the one that says mini. This site was very helpful in getting everything going. As far as 3D printing, I have used 3D hubs before. I don't have my own 3D printer at home. I've used 3D hubs to find other people who have printers around me, and then they charge just a couple bucks to print something out, and they can either mail it to you if it's too far, or you can um, pick it up locally. Uh, also, I've found that two of the libraries in the neighboring towns have uh, 3D printers. So I joined one of those for free and able, I was able to print uh, what you saw in the video for only 10 cents a gram, which came to $1.20. So check out your local libraries. After I got it printed, this is the pusher rod, I drilled a small hole in the end and used some epoxy to uh, embed this metal rod. And that's what goes, uh, pushes through the drawer slider as you saw earlier. To power it all, uh, you can either use an Arduino. I did not use an Arduino for this project. I used a small Node MCU, which is Arduino compatible, so the same code works for both. What I like about this board is it's smaller, it's a little cheaper, but it also has a built-in Wi-Fi. And so later on, I plan on um, being able to lock or unlock this with my phone. And then finally, here's the, the code I used to get this running. Um, it's put together from some Arduino examples. It's only 50 lines. It's not much. You should be able to copy and paste this, and this should work for your usage. The only thing you might have to change is this delay time here to lock the mirror and this delay time here to unlock the mirror. So the way these servos work real quick is this command basically turns on the servo in the forward direction, and it will run that way until you say stop. So we're saying go forward for 600 milliseconds. milliseconds. Um, that's how long it took to fully lock mine. And then to unlock it, I just increased it a little bit. So right back, or pull the servo back, pull the push rod back for 650 milliseconds. Anyways, you'll have to play with those two values, but that should work fine for you.